basically it's uh, two lurchers or two hunting hounds um, they're kept inside in derelict buildings what we're going to do is the dogs will be taken back to the home first to be assessed by our vet they'll be um, wormed all their skin will be checked one of the dogs is suffering from um, touch of mage um, the dogs themselves okay the dogs had shelter over them but uh, as I said there was an awful lot of rubbish around there uh, one of the dogs um, as you saw was, was tied he was standing on top of the trolley he couldn't actually come down off the trolley he had to stay on it the way that the lead was, was tied Vincent just in terms of the CSPCA's workload at the moment how busy are you and how many dogs do you have leading a home right at the mo at the home in the home at the moment there's 48 dogs um, we have several cats we have rabbits birds as the usual um, line of stuff that we'd have all the time um, we're quite busy, we're doing an awful lot of calls. We would hope that the, the, the calls for the horses would have slackened off a little bit by now, but actually it hasn't. Um, we're getting areas where horses are trapped in land for, the, for several years, and it's now virtually impossible to get them out without uh, a huge effort being made on, on several people's behalf. Um, it's definitely not slackening off. It's, it's cases like this when we can highlight problems, people start to take notice and sit up a little bit better you know um, so hopefully as I said these two guys now will be able to uh, patch them up and, and get them rehomed but it's definitely it's probably the only growth industry in the middle of the recession is is case of animal abuse and animal cruelty. And have you enough people coming forward offering good homes to dogs who've been neglected well, we, like we these? Have, um, CSPCA itself would have one of the highest rehoming rates in the country um, last year, uh, 424, 25 dogs were actually rehomed in Cork alone.